today i will discuss with you the properties of inverse trigonometric functions so this i have explained earlier also that uh, sin inverse sin theta can be written as theta but your theta should be within the principal value branch or and for the different inverse trigonometric functions the principal value branch is different so that you have to take care suppose you have to find out x given as this now in this question you cannot write directly x as 13 pi by 6 why because for cos you know that the principal value branch is 0 to pi and you can see this 13 pi by 6 is greater than pi so here you have to solve it further so you can write this 13 pi by 6 as 2 pi plus pi by 6 and you know that cos 2 pi plus pi by 6 is cos pi by 6 so your x will be pi by 6 now you can see that pi by 6 is within the range of 0 to pi so your answer will be pi by 6 now let's see some properties the sine inverse 1 by x can be written as cosec inverse x you already know that uh, sine theta is the reciprocal of cosec theta here also you can write it as sine inverse 1 by x as cosec inverse x the same way for cos inverse 1 by x also it can be written as sec inverse x for tan inverse 1 by x there are two conditions it will be cot inverse x if x is greater than 0 and pi plus cot inverse x when x is less than 0 now let's see the next property that is sine inverse negative x will be negative of sine inverse x so in the case of cosec and tan also it is same for tan inverse minus x it will be negative of tan inverse x but it is different for cos sec and cot for cos inverse negative of x it will be pi minus cos inverse x in the same way for sec inverse negative of x and cot inverse negative of x it will be pi minus sec inverse x and pi minus cot inverse x next property is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equals to pi by 2 the same way uh, for tan inverse x plus cot inverse x it will be pi, pi by 2 and for sec inverse x and cosec inverse x it will be again pi by 2 so sin inverse x can be taken as y so from here you can say that sin y will be equals to x so and you, you know that uh, sin can be written in terms of cos so that will be x equals to cos pi by 2 minus y now you can write this as cos inverse x equals to pi by 2 minus y now you can replace your value of y that is sin inverse x and after solving this you will get sin inverse x plus cos inverse x equals to pi by 2 so this way you can prove the other also now let's see the next property number 4 if you have 10 inverse x plus 10 inverse y so that can be written as 10 inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus x y if your product of x y is less than 1 if your product is greater than 1 where your x and y both are greater to 0 that time you have to write it as pi plus 10 inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus x y now for 10 inverse x minus 10 inverse y it will be here the only the sign will change here it was positive so here it will become negative and it is negative here it will become positive and the product of x y is greater to minus 1 and when it will be less than minus 1 it will be pi plus 10 inverse the same formula this formula for 10 inverse is very important so you can use this formula to solve the questions in which 10 will be there or you can also solve the other questions in which sin and cos are also given so you can change the sin inverse and cos inverse in tan inverse and then you can use these this formula so this formula is very important now let's see the proof of this 
here again in these type of uh, questions you can just assume this thing as tan inverse x as alpha and tan inverse y as beta so now you know uh, you can write it as x equals to tan alpha and y can be written as tan beta now you know one formula for tan alpha plus beta that is tan alpha plus tan beta divided by 1 minus tan alpha tan beta now you can put the values of tan alpha that is x and y so x plus y divided by 1 minus x y you will get and then you can take this tan to that side so it will be tan inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus x y will be your alpha plus beta now you can the values of alpha and beta back so you will get tan inverse x plus tan inverse y equals to tan inverse x plus y divided by 1 minus x y now let's see the next property so next property is sin inverse x plus sin inverse y equals to sin inverse x root over 1 minus y square plus y into 1 minus x square and here x and y both are in the close interval of minus 1 and 1 so here this property also can be proved just take this value as alpha or this value as beta at the same way like the previous one you can get the proof now for sin inverse x minus sin inverse y the formula is just same only the difference is the sign here it is positive so it will become negative here it is negative so it will become negative now let's see it for cos inverse also in cos inverse x plus cos inverse y you can write it as cos inverse x y minus root over 1 minus x square into root over 1 minus y square and for cos inverse x minus cos inverse y the formula is just same only the difference is the sign here it is negative it will become positive and now let's see the next property that is 2 10 inverse x will be equals to 10 inverse 2x divided by 1 minus x square where x is within the open interval of minus 1 to 1 this is also very important now here this 2 10 inverse x can be written in terms of 10 in terms of cos also and in terms of sine also so let's see it for sine 2 10 inverse x will be equals to sine inverse 2x divided by 1 plus x square and for cos it will be cos inverse 1 minus x square divided by 1 plus x square now let's see the next property 2 sine inverse x can be written as sine inverse 2x root over 1 minus x square all these identity like the previous one and this one you can just uh, simply assume that sine inverse x you can take it as alpha and then sine alpha will become x and then you can just put the value back and you will get the result like the one i have solved already let's see another for 2 cos inverse x the formula will be cos inverse root over 2x square minus 1 now 2 cos inverse x in terms of sine also you can write it as 2x root over 1 minus x square now let's see another property it is if you have half of cos inverse x so that can be written as cos inverse root over 1 plus x by 2 the same way in terms of sine also you can write it so it will be sine inverse root over 1 minus x divided by 2 in terms of 10 inverse also you can write it as 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x so all these properties you have to use to solve the sums related with inverse trigonometric functions